it to the pros. Post Gator. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, <clears throat> Crypto Steve, and I'm here with some exciting news. I want to be able to show y'all how I'm doing it, how I'm actually going to take <laughs> and go to the, the pros. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, <clears throat> Crypto Steve, and I'm here with some exciting news. I want to be able to show y'all how I'm doing it, how I'm actually going to take <laughs> and go to the pros. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, <clears throat> Crypto Steve, and I'm here with some exciting news. I okay, so let's go ahead and dive on into this content. Let me show you. First things first, I hope you guys can hear me. Let me make sure everyone can hear me first. I'm going to watch it on YouTube on another platform, so... I want to just make sure everything is lining up right. So, okay. Can y'all hear me now? Okay. So, hopefully, you guys can hear hey, me. Hey, what's now. up, y'all? It's your boy, Crypto Steve, and I'm here with some news. I'm okay. So, let's go ahead and dive on into this content. Let me show you. First things first, I hope you guys can hear me. Let me make sure everyone can hear me first. I'm going to watch it on YouTube on another platform. So I want to just make sure everything is lining up right. So, okay. Can y'all hear me now? Okay. So hopefully you got. All right, so I'm hopefully, hopefully I ain't messing this up. Um, I'm gonna see if my wife can go ahead and tell me if she can hear me on YouTube. Let me make sure that my volume is up. So I can't hear it playing. So I don't know if it's playing. Let me tap into this one more time. And Okay, maybe that was the reason why. All right, so real quick, uh, uh, let me see. Me go read the I was like, I need a home for all these parts of myself. You can go to the www.ebrand.club and you'll see the test. Tap into this one more time. So I can't hear it playing. I don't know if it's playing. Let me tap into this one more time. Okay, maybe All right, perfect. So I think you can hear me. Um, All right, so real quick. When you're fighting, you say... Okay, maybe All right, so I know y'all can hear me because I can hear myself on the other end. And so let's go ahead and dive into this content. So first things first, I am not a financial advisor, nor am I advising you on your finances. I am here to show you how you take your migration codes. That's right, your migration codes from off of Curbit Exchange and move them to the GS Trade exchange platform okay i did this video again uh i did it earlier this week so you guys can see it a couple of different times let me just myself so 
I just want to make sure that y'all getting clear understanding and really showing you what's up, Carlos. I see you on here, bro. I just want to make sure y'all are really understanding that what I am doing and how to do it. So first things first is you must do one thing. You must log into your current bit. So once you log into your current bit exchange, you're going to go to the tab that say dashboard. And then you're going to go here where it say wallet and balance. You're not, you shouldn't have near none and none of these currencies that's in your wallet and balance like usdt btc eth kbc kcb unv or bunv should be all zero just like you guys can see right here all zeros it shouldn't be nothing in there now of course i can't get that little teeny bit that's in there out so we're not going to worry about that so once you see all that all of your k b c or k c b coins should be actually in this reduction plan if it's not then you must go on if you have coins under kbc or kcb you're going to see a tab over here let me go to my annotations again real quick it's going to be a tab somewhere around here that say migrate coins or or even uh put your coins into the reduction plan enter into the reduction plan if you don't have 10,000 you're going to have to migrate your coins okay cuz the only way you can enter into the reduction plan with 10,000 KBC or KCB and more, all right? So the other place I wanna show you real quick, cause I got another Zoom that I'm gonna do webinar for S Coast Enterprise. We are gonna dive in some great information and content tonight. So the next place I need to show you to make sure that if that's not there, if you do have that, go ahead and do that process and migrate your coins to the migration codes. And then if that's the case, you then done there. And if you go here to vote, vault if you don't have nothing there that's great if you have a master node you must also enter into the migration code on the master node but let me show you in the kcb conversion tab you must most definitely see your kcb exchange that should be all completed but here under the value voucher of the KCB. If you haven't value voucher your coins out, of course you can leave them, you can do whatever you want. I have already done mine as you can see. And if you've done that, then all your coins should be in this tab right here, reduction plan. Now I know I'm going fast because again, I got another webinar I'm hosting at seven o'clock in 10 minutes. And I'm just gonna show y'all this one time, but I must tell y'all that you can go back and watch this video thousands and thousands of times you don't have to call me to ask me go back and watch the video push play when you need to push pause when you need to even rewind it if you have to and if you want to you can fast forward it any way you want to do it i just want to be able to help you get some content of how to migrate your formerly known kbc into the gs trade exchange platform and turn them into the G999 utility coin, okay? So here we go. Real quick, I'm in a reduction plan. I see all of my coins here. First thing I see is, I see how many coins I have in this account. I see all of my reduction contests. All my coins was in the reduction contest because I want to get the best for my value. But I see this 3.1 million 3.18 million coins right here. So I'm not going to migrate that yet. Matter of fact, I am. I'm going to click on migration. It tells me the details. It tells me that I'm going to actually receive out of 3.1 million, I'm going to get 1.34 million coins. Now, granted, I must say, I, well, however they do it, whatever they done, I'm grateful because I need to make sure I move my coins over to the G999 and take the benefit of everything that's going on, especially when all the regulations and everything that happened. So I'm, I'm grateful with this. So, and I'm thankful. So here it go. Confirm. Almost done. Reloading. Once... I click on reloading and it shows up here, the code. Now I can click here and copy, or I can go back up to the top and click on migration codes. And there it go. It tells me my 1.3 million coins that was in a reduction plan after the hard uh, four, after they swapped out for four to one is now here. I haven't used my code yet. And this was the date. So I'm going to click on these little copy buttons and bam. 
I'm going to take, and once I copied it, it's going to show up, copy, and then I'm going to go to this next page, which is GS Trade. Now, listen, some of you asking me, how do you set your KYCs up? Um, same way you do any KYCs, but let me go there for y'all to see. I'm going to dashboard. I'm already logged in first, so I'm going to dashboard. I'm going to KYC. You must upload your name, your first name, your middle name as well on this ID. I mean, on this bronze KYC level. Now, it's a first name, but on your ID, if it's got your first and your middle name, you must put your first and middle name in the first name column. And then you're going to put your last name. And then you're going to upload a clear picture of your ID. Not a picture where your ID is that small, but a picture that got all four corners of your ID in it, okay? The second phase, after that happened, you, you're going to get an email and this is going to say successfully verified. The next stage, you're going to go here. You're going to give your country, your postcode, the city, the area code of your phone number, and your phone number. So the area code first, number one for US, and then your phone number, then your address, and then you must upload a proof of address. Listen, this proof of address got to be a bank statement, credit card statement, utility bill, and all four corners have to be in it. Block out your account number if you want. If you think somebody's going to look at your, block it out. Hey, I don't know if y'all understand, but we've been giving away information for free for a long time already. So if you think somebody wants your credit card number and you don't want nobody to know it or your account number, then block it out, block it out, whatever you decide to do. But reality is, your phone never sleep. The data that you've been entering in the computer been already sold. Your data been already sold to other third-party companies, and they already benefiting from your information. So regardless, I ain't talking about personal information. I'm talking about what you like, what you create, what stories, places you like going, what books you like to read. All that stuff is being created. And when there's something that's called cookies, and cookies gather all that information anyway and take it and sell it, and you ain't getting paid a penny from it. So reality is bl block out your account number, put that proof or your ad. You, you, you can't do it if you do a proof of ad address. I mean, if you do a proof of address, use your utility bill. If you don't want to use a bank statement, credit card statement, whatever. Once that's successfully verified, you will get an email saying it's successfully verified. The third phase, in order to do what I'm doing, in order to migrate your coin, your phone me known KBC to the GS trade for the G999 utility coin. You must do this. The sec the third thing is go. And here they want the front of your ID, the back of your ID, and then they want a selfie with your ID like this. Now, listen, y'all, if you would take a selfie with your ID like this, don't you think they want to see what's on your ID? Not just your picture, but they want to make sure what you got on your ID is matching up with who you are. They need to see a clear, concise picture of you. Again, if you think that they just want your information, then you must be messed up because every time you go on the web, on the web, on the World Wide Web, www, anywhere, your information is being captured and sold to you. That's why you keep going on Facebook and all these other places and the thing you looked at two months ago keeps following and showing up and then they say buy or die. That's what they're telling you. You can buy this because you like this. And this is what you've been searching. And here it go. Here it go again. Here it go again. So again, that's simply once you do all that, you will get an email saying you successfully go approved. OK, let me back up, because when you register for this account, you must register with the same email that was given that you had used in your current bit exchange. OK, for sure. The same email. Very key, the same email, the exact name that's on your license, just like you got to put all that information in here again. OK, so once that's done. You're going to go to dashboard, which is going to take you to wallet and balances. Once you get the wallet and balances, you're going to see the company say, hey, Steve, thank you for doing what you're supposed to do, getting your KYC approved. We want to know our customers and our, know our clients. And so, Ben, though you shared that with us, of who you are, and you're a real person, and you're not just doing anything, you, we're going to give you 999 G triple nine coins. I said, thank you. No problem. That's perfect. So that will happen once you get gold successfully approved. Worth $19.99, little under two cents, which is all right. I ain't complaining again. So how do I get 
my K, my formerly known KBC coins that was put in a reduction plan to the G999 over to GS Trade. That's where we at. So I copy this code. I go here to GS Trade and I go to this tab right here. So I'm on the dashboard. I'm on the wall imbalances. I see the KYCs. I see the history, but I go to import. Once I go to import, I'm pasting the actual code that I had copied in my Curbit Exchange when I migrated my coins to the G999 platform. And then I'm going to click, OK, voucher imported. Check your imports in history section. OK, cool. What am I going to do? So all you guys know I've imported 1.3. Four two five one two million coins over, right? Let's see what it look like. Once I go to where I gotta go, let me see this. Go down, go to dashboard. I'm gonna go to history. Hey, listen, if I go here and I see nothing, it's because you're under the deposit tab. You can't be under the withdrawal. You can't be under the order. You can't be under the trade. You gotta go to import. Remember, these are tabs and you click on each one and there you go, 1.342512 million coins. And it shows this completed the date. And then if I go back here to wallet and balance and there you go right there with my 900, that's at the value of 26,870. Again, that's simply it. Let me do it one more time. I'm in my Curb bit exchange. All my coins is in a reduction plan. I go to the reduction plan tab. I go here to generate migration code. I see the details. I see how many coins they're gonna give me out of 400 and some thousand. I see reload values. Click on OK. There go the code as well. I can go here or I can just copy here, bam, if I want. But let me show you where you can go see your actual coin. So there you go. Say use. The first one say yes. The last one say no. Copy button. Go to GS Trade. Go to Dashboard. Import. Paste. Submit. Checking all good. Import it voucher good great you guys seen what i had at first go scroll down go back to dashboard and look right here and there it go my coin amount change g triple nine amount change in my usd value and then if i go back here and refresh the page you'll see that this say now that it's been used yes simply it listen that's all I have for you. Go back and watch this video. Pause, replay, I mean, rewind, fast forward, whatever you decided to do, do that. Hey, listen, if you're interested in learning how to maneuver in and out of this cryptocurrency space, I have another platform called scoats.com or www.ebrand.club and you can go there and actually register become a part of the the club we actually doing a phenomenal things go on my website read the testimonies read about all the things that you hear that's going on and you'll be blown away by the people that's benefiting that's profiting that it's just crazy it's awesome so again it's your boy crypto steve Click the link below, sign up on the S Coast Enterprise. Let me show you how I maneuver through the crypto space and benefit from the profits that, and, and different techniques and strategies that I teach, train, and coach on. It's again, it's your boy.